What's up everybody, Cats007 and today bringing you guys some violinist gameplay and in this gameplay at the moment I am the second violinist in the server and some of you are wondering why did you push violinist all of a sudden Cats and I get that a lot because usually you know I'm known for being a really good spider, number one spider etc etc but I learned violinist for a sole purpose which is for my teammates because I am a hunter coach for my team and usually I would be like, okay, this is what you have to do to play a certain hunter. But I don't want to speak about what I see. I want to gain experience. Now, I can say, listen, I watched a bunch of pro Chinese tournaments, this and that. But I really can't say much if I don't have experience. So I was like, yo, JC, who's the hunter for PR, amazing friend of mine. I told him, hey, I'm going to push top VO and I'm going to pass on my knowledge to you. Because right now I'm a survivor main. I'm the forward main of my team. And I'm not really the sub hunter. So I'm like, you know what, JC, I got you. I'm going to learn top VO. Give me a week or two. And I'm going to teach you how to play violinist. Now, something that I used to stress was to perfect my lines. That is something that I always stressed when I first started playing violinist. And over a period of time, I learned it's not all about your lines. Listen, I could hit every note and still get a draw. The notes aren't important. It's the mentality of what you're doing. And this applies to every hunter you play. Listen, Spider's a huge draw character, but I still somehow managed to win. But it's not about the simple fact of, you know, with violinists hitting your lines. It's what you do with them. So as you can see, I was able to slug the, um, what do you say, the uh, priestess right with the line after. But when it comes to playing violinists, it's a whole different ballgame and strategy. So for example, I changed my build. I don't run my Spider build, which is two pallet up. I usually run Rage with Violinus, Rage and Desperate Fight, because I ban Mercenary. And I think Mercenary is probably one of the best bans, because even if I see a forward on the team, I will chase a forward with Violinus. I will chase a Gravekeeper with Violinus, you know? And usually, I usually end up finding cords like this, who just shoots me in the face. That's why I run Max Rage. Well, not Max Rage, two Rage and one Desperate Fight. And then the other goes into Sinitis, and the other one goes into Trump Card and Attention. But... Something that I learned is that when I'm playing VO, I'm usually facing a lot of chords. So I run Rage instead of um like Berserker like most people do. And by the way, have you seen these lines? Like literally, I did not let the Priestess go into hospital at all. Stop your broken loops. Priestess is broken. So I stopped Priestess from getting even into hospital the first couple lines. Now, you know, what you're going to see here is I see them healing in the distance, right? Now, I'm going to go after somebody. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up going after the Seer. Well, Cats, why didn't you go after the Coordinator? She's injured. Well... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and injure this seer as fast as possible. Now he did use his owl, so he doesn't have an owl at his disposal. So if I get the seer on chair and I let the cord decode, she has a debuff. This is what I'm saying about mentality. You have to think about everything, especially when you're playing this game. And a lot of that came from experience of me just being hunter. Now look, I don't wanna hit this line. The reason why I threw that line was just to scare him. Listen, if you vault that window, you get smacked. So I forced him to come back towards me or run a different route, which I can catch up to him. Now, that's a big way of my play style that I play VO. And I would usually throw a line to cut off your route. It's kind of like Feaster. Think of Feaster. I will put a tentacle somewhere just to cut off your route. And I do the same thing on my lines. Now, if you see here, why did I teleport all of a sudden to Coordinator? And that's because Officer did not save. Keep that in mind. It was the Seer who saved with the Owl, so he still has Side Turner. Now, it's going to force the officer to rotate across the map, stop everyone from decoding, and let the officer rescue. So at the moment, there is no cipher being worked on. And you have to think about stuff like this. Because there will be situations where they'll let that person die on chair, and it'll be a draw. Literally, the amount of times they've let someone die on chair, and I've gotten freaking draws, it's terrible. So, right now, I wanted to bring out that tie turner out of the officer. Once he used that tie turner, I get to slug the cord, and that's GG's from there. So officer pops a pocket watch. How you doing, buddy? So he pops a pocket watch. He's going in for the save. Now I'm trying to hit him, trying to bait it out, etc., etc. And he's going for the save. But once that cord is off a chair, I literally just have to kill her down and it's GG's from there. In my opinion, I really do think the BO is a draw character. Now there's a lot of people who are going to disagree with that. And that's fine. I'm saying it from my perspective. I think BO is a really strong draw character, especially if he gets 3 for kited. Vio can definitely get 3 for kited. Think about his notes, like a uh, gamekeeper's hook. Once he misses that first hook, 
he's screwed for the rest of the game. Same with Ripper. If he missed that fog blade, that whole cooldown has to come back. And literally all it takes is 70 seconds of a kite just to win. So you miss like literally like two hooks or two complete lines and it's GG's from there. That's why I run Blink on Vio. A lot of people love the Peepa strategy. They run Berserker, they get the attack recovery on chair, etc. That's not my thing, honestly. Most of my win conditions come from literally early downs. And then because Vio has great stuffing potential, that is where I usually secure my wins. It's either I down someone early and get a double hit on chair, and from there I win. But with Vio and Peepers, not really my place. I'm really aggressive. But other than that, I have more Vio gameplay coming up. Hopefully I hit first by the end of this week. I'm Catch007, and I'll catch all of you later. Peace.